extra, extra, read all about it. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading, Aquarius, from Born Without Boundaries. This is your oracle card reading. It's an energy reading, so it's not a horoscope, so it's for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury, wherever Aquarius energy influences your natal chart, you can apply these themes for the next week or so. I make a new Aquarius video every single week, so the videos aren't dated anymore because people don't really care about the dates. <laughs> um, learn as you go, you know? <laughs> but I do upload a new Aquarius video for insights uh, every single week. So if you want them hot off the press, please subscribe to the channel. You'll help the channel grow, and you'll also get the videos as soon as they're uploaded. This is the Oracle card reading. Uh, we do general energies here, but then there's an extended video every single week uh, that adds on to, articulates, and really personalizes with great detail um, the energies that we, we start off with over on YouTube. That's a full tarot card spread and a romance-specific reading, and that link is in the description box below. So Aquarius, let's get into your reading for this week. Let's see what Aquarius energies are. You know, I tried to tap in, but you guys were aloof. Go figure. Aquarius. Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. Okay, maybe not so aloof, very certain. Aquarius, 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 Aquarius. Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. Okay, crowning your reading. Truth transcends illusion, which is your card. Sometimes this is also a Scorpionic card. The energy of 22, looking and searching for balance. And then freedom is yours, the energy of 33. These are master numbers, so they duplicate or double their intensity. This is the energy of looking and finding and seeking and weighing out, uh, deliberating through the truth, finding the truth and allowing it to come out, the truth coming out. And then this is the energy of definitely your energy. Um, of being free, of being liberated, liberated through divinity, through balance, through understanding, through enlightenment, um, free from your old self, free from obligations or commitments that you had um, that were attached to your old identity or an identity that you had. Um, basically, we're all born with identities. We're, we're given identities. We're given scripts in our lives. But Aquarius is this is you defying the script that you were given, maybe even rebelling in some ways against the family unit that you are in, uh, not uh, out of hatred, but out of independence. This could also be speaking to um, uh, being liberated from karmic patterns, from imbalances, finding balance where there once was no balance, or bringing the balance, right? And in that balance, you find the freedom. You find the freedom to be able to break away from those patterns, those hurts, those wounds that keep be, kept being repeated. And it was simply because you figured out how um, to not believe the script, to not fall for the script that was given to you. And instead, look at these bangs. Can you imagine? I just, they're like all over the place. <laughs> I know, vanity, I apologize, Aquarius. Um, not fall for the script that you were given. I think the first, ultimately, the first awakening is to realize it was a script, to realize that it wasn't a truth. And there's there's awakening and power in that. And, and once again, sometimes that can bring bitterness or frustration or a lot of fighting or argument, arguing or distancing yourself from that family unit or the friend unit, or uh, maybe if you've worked in a company for 20 years, realizing that their beliefs are not the same as your beliefs. And just because you've, uh, you adapted them or adopted, to, uh, adopted them and it, or adapted to them, they're not what defines you. And there's some sort of liberation here from um, believing that that was the truth as well as um, believing it was the only option. Yeah, there's some sort of karmic liberation here. This is your crowning energy. Now, let's let's read on. Take time out. This is mama bear energy, very protective maternal energy coming through, defensive, even healing, 
uh, black bear can come in to rip out the illnesses or attack illnesses and sicknesses and, and almost like aggressively, like spiritually operate and rip them from you or scare them from you. Um, black bear also is here to protect. So you feel protected and you feel defended. Some sort of energy coming through to um, help you almost like, um, you know, in those action movies, you go, I'll hold them back. That, that kind of energy. You go, I'll hold them back. I'm here to be your wall of defense so that you can break away free. Um, maybe somebody that you've lost, somebody that's passed on, or somebody that you learned a great deal from. Maybe you are the first person out of the gate after the karmic cycle was broken and it was this person that was the one that defied the odds and helped to reestablish the freshness. And this is the one you do honor to, but this is the one that continues to honor you or it's you, you know, it's you're the one that's sending, that's, that's, you, I'll hold the gate, you go on, you know, like, don't wait for me, I got this. You know, you're, this is an energy of somebody standing um, in between of somebody else and danger or heartbreak or um, even failure. Uh, this is just that person that really bears the brunt of the karmic cycle, but simultaneously breaks the karmic cycle. So they are the great liberator. Um, now we have deer, a gentle spirit. It's so interesting because you have predator and prey coming out, standing next to each other. So this is a this is the imbalance that's looking for the balance. This is the discovery of the harmony. So the third element has to come in here and be a realization that after the heartbreak and after the sacrifice comes the gentleness, comes the love. It's because of love. And this is actually protecting the right for a new life to go forward and continue. This is Virgo energy. So this is healing. This is hard work. This is something that's just beginning, um, something, but it's also the energy of nine too. Eight plus one or one plus eight is the energy of nine, something that is coming to a head, something that's coming out um, or coming to a finish. Nine, nine, the energy of, of double nines, uh, which adds up to 18, which adds back up to nine. Um, nine's like that. Nine, nine has very special properties. It's an extremely powerful number and it just always replicates itself or comes back to itself. So this is a cyclical pattern of coming back around, but this is, this is coming back around to heal. This is coming back around to liberate and free. This is the end of feeling feeling the suffering the it's like realizing somebody's sacrifice for you made life better and the best way to honor that sacrifice is to live the better life um and then we have sweet results await so this is the energy of seven and b only tastes the honey that they work very hard for and i said virgo is like is the, the you know rules the house of, of of hard work and and healing so um it's paid off uh, you're about to, Aquarius, reap the really sweet res rewards. Now, one could extrapolate that the freedom is the, the sweet reward, that the breaking of the generational cycle and seeing somebody prosper and be able to carry that torch beyond is also breaking of that pattern. This is this is Le uh, Leo energy, so it's feeling abundant, feeling good, and finding allowing yourself to feel hopeful, coming into the full awareness of of your capabilities and selling those cap celebrating those capabilities by making them actionable and putting them to work. Uh, your central energy here is make your dreams real. Uh, this is a, a scorpionic energy. It can be very manipulative energy or very beautiful energy. Either way, it's the energy of being the spellcaster, being the weaver, being the one that tends to the, the, the intricate um, tapestry that is the life and that is sometimes like the family line. This is grandmother energy. It sits at the center of your reading. It sits at the center of your heart space. This is that practice or maybe traditions being handed down or somehow Aquarius finding the, like, please take this as a metaphor, the tapestry that was begun by your grandparents handed, maybe forgotten by your parents, now handed down to you to continue forth and you've broken out of some sort of chains or mistakes made by your parents or generations before and you're now able to fix up those holes and um 
carry on the weaving. Um, this could be somebody, I don't sense this as somebody setting a trap. I sense this as somebody being the divine creator for their universe. Uh, so by universe, metaphorically, what I mean is your life, your family, your family line, uh, your community, uh, or, or, you know, your life, hold on. It's just, um, I can say this right now. It's almost like it's calling to you. Have you heard a call lately? Have you been awakened? Cause this is the energy of five plus six, the energy of awakening. Have you been awakened or just discovered an old book that never got finished. Um, maybe your grandmother or grandfather started it. Or realizing that your mother used to be a protester in the 60s. And now you want to pick up that torch. So it's, 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 it's interesting how you feel free or the work that's been done to help you in your life has liberated you to be able to complete the projects that they couldn't because of the bars and chains that were put on them. Really interesting. Hold on. Okay. Let spirit be your guide. Change is coming. This is the energy of three plus two, but this is also objectively being able to look at a circumstance or a scenario, and that's why you can figure it out. Is because you are taking a bird's eyed view of of the certain the situation, and you're bare bonesing it. There's no frills, there's no expectations, and you're cutting through the glamour and understanding what this real responsibility is. Is that it wasn't about notoriety, it wasn't about fame, it wasn't even about fortune. What was the true essence of the goal of this unfinished project or this dream? What was it? And now it's like what, what like I said before, picking up that torch and carrying it. And you're just jumping in. This is more energy of six plus five, a great awakening, becoming extremely aware of everything around you, Aquarius, just by letting it flow over you. This is a great amount of trust. And it's also a, a, a testament to just how important this is for you, to how important it is for you to carry out this mission, this spiritual mission, or how, and, or um, how, trusting or how important it the people that that are involved in this matter to you um it they go deep down inside of you and this is this is a group this is a family this is a family member or a lover that you would literally do anything for um and then last but not least we have see the big picture this is nine plus two once again i wow whoa 11 there's three 11s lined up in this reading so you've really got your sights set on the big picture Aquarius you've got your sights set on um, the larger objective to cure to heal to help to um, to um, um, to to gather to enlighten this is a reading of great enlightenment expanding and in broad and expanding expanding and broadening your perspective and seeing out into the future and making plans for the future could very well be you've basically um you know it could be as simple as making a decision to get married or making a decision to buy a home um, making a decision to be with somebody for long term or making a decision to make a long-term commitment into something uh, it could also be bo bottom line freedom fighting this is a sense of n expect in other words this isn't just a, this isn't, this isn't a diet. This is a life change, right? This isn't about just changing what you eat to lose weight. This is about changing what you eat to change who you are on a cellular level. It, I'm not saying this is about dieting. It could be, but I'm saying it's, it's that integral. It's like, I'm, these changes are permanent and you're the one orchestrating them. Grounding your energy, Aquarius. Grounding your energy is, what is your grounding energy? More Virgo energy, lay a solid foundation. This is the energy of six, which is wholeness and purity and earth and life and divine feminine energy. Um, um, yeah, constructing, starting from basement level up, uh, constructing the future or making the construct for the future this is also speaking to family 
um, and, and settling down. Uh, then we have tend to the small things. So tedious, tedious things that have built up that have been a problem over time or that have been uh, undealt with, you're tackling. Because you realize that little things become big things. And the big things, it's almost like your insights and your awakening is realizing all the little pieces that make up the big piece. And learning that attacking or going after each little piece is the only way to bring down or to deconstruct and clear out the whole big wall that's standing in front of you is brick by brick. Um, but this could also be saying brick by brick, you're starting to tear down one thing, yes, but like build up another. You're, you're building up another option. That's what you're doing. You're giving somebody another option, another alternative to something that they feel stuck in or giving yourself another alternative to something that you feel stuck in. Uh, and this is in reverse, your energy in reverse, time for a beginner mind. Eight plus four equals 12. 12 adds up to three. So once again, this is the energy of divine balance, healing, three, three, three. Um, this is letting down your defenses, being wide open, uh, feeling so confident and so safe, or what I can say is risking it all to make a decision because you believe so wholeheartedly in this new step forward, in this new movement forward. So you're just tearing down on all your walls. Uh, you're letting down all of your defenses and you're starting over from the ground up, leaving yourself totally vulnerable. This is something you feel that is worth the risk. Uh, and I don't think you even feel that it's a risk, Aquarius. I think that you know that it is, if it's a sacrifice, if it's anything at all, it's a sacrifice that you're willing to make. So there's no such thing as risk because there's nothing that you're afraid to lose. The only thing that you're afraid of is not this not, having life or getting a chance to be that's the only thing you've ever thought of that even kind of sort of scares you um you're leaving yourself totally exposed which is not like you but it doesn't matter because it certainly is you when it comes to something mattering so much that has a larger purpose beyond yourself and a caring for a family or a community um, could very well be that and you are the forerunner the front runner and the person breaking through and making it okay making the world a better place for at least one person so hold on I'm gonna flip the camera around I also have to say Aquarius if you look at the cards you don't feel vulnerable you don't it, it's that you don't feel like you have to have your walls up because you know you're being protected You know that you come from, uh, you, have, you have a whole hive that has your back. You know that you have somebody watching in the shadows ready to trap somebody that would try to hurt you. It's almost like you're just, your defenses and all your traps are already set. You don't, you're not worried or scared about the next step or about taking the risk that you're deciding to take because this is a very solid foundation that you have behind you. You're so secured with the tapestry and your connection to it and being interwoven with it. You have found your roots and so you're not afraid to reach for the sky. This um, is going to go into your extended reading. I'm going to continue it in the extended and of course your romance reading. Um, more articulation, uh, expanding upon what this means and where this is, what direction it's going in. I know this is will, this will be personal to each of you, but um, yeah, there's more of a story to be told. So Aquarius, hop on over to the extended. The link is below and I'll see you there.